hey guys welcome back to um, my channel I am Jessica and this is um, my channel name just because I for the people who are new here that's what's going on for y'all that um, support me welcome back y'all um, I just want to do a sit-down video um, nothing crazy just we had gone to the mall Saturday and I talked about it just a little bit on um, in Instagram and so I was like well let me just I got stuff for Sydney's um, Christmas so um, she doesn't watch my videos but I won't <laughs> show it um, but I will tell you guys what I got first we went to Nespresso and for y'all that are enjoying my morning Nespresso <laughs> unboxings or advent calendar let me tell y'all okay so I don't like shots and double shots and I'm not a fan of flavored coffee unless I am in the mood for flavored coffee. So if I'm like, oh, I want a vanilla latte. But when I first wake up in the morning, I just want a true cup of coffee. So that looks like um, just plain coffee. Nothing extravagant, nothing over the top. It can have different notes, but the just a true good cup of coffee is what I'm looking for. Um, so when I open it up and it's a double shot or a single shot or a flavor, I'm like, oh, my favorite flavor is hazelnut. My coffee cream is hazelnut um, that I drink most days. So yeah. Anyway, so we went to Nespresso and I did get coffee pods, but I just want to share with you guys my favorite coffee pot. Now this is the ice forte. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I'm going to show it to you. This is only sold in the summertime i think because it is an iced coffee you might be able to get it year round i'm not sure but this is one of my favorites and i do drink it iced if i'm having an iced coffee or i will drink it um hot so you can drink it both ways this one is my absolute on the scale of one to ten this is the number one the bianco forte so this one is the one that i drink um, the most if I'm ordering um, I always order them now I do order different flavors some of them I know I like because I've tried them and some of them are just me being adventurous but my first cup of coffee in the morning I don't have enough strength to be adventurous for that first cup every other cup you know my afternoon my iced coffee or something like that I might venture out and try one of the other ones oh the pumpkin the pumpkin and ginger um, the pumpkin spice cake and the gingerbread, I can drink those in the morning. Um, so those differ. But everything else, the hazelnut is good. So those three. Hazelnut, pumpkin, um, spice cake, and gingerbread are the three that I will go ahead and drink in the morning. And so we'll see. We still have, today is the 12th. So we still have like 12, is it 24 days? If it's 24 days in there, which I think it is, then we have 12 more days to get it right so that's what i got from nespresso i got um recycling bags and then i bought two boxes of these i had a bunch of these so i didn't buy any but i had run out of these so i got some so that was the first stop we made then we wandered around we were looking for something specific for sydney but we went into uniglo <clears throat> and i love that store now i had and until i got the little crossbody um half moon bag had never thought about them, had never gone into their store. It's one literally like five miles away from here. And I didn't even think to go in there. But I wore this sweater when I got home Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Today is Tuesday. I wore three days in a row. Okay. This is a, I got it in a size large. And it is just their cardigan sweater. It's just a green cardigan sweater. It has three buttons and two pockets i am going to show you the button is a little like a little brown button nothing major but it is very soft now i haven't washed it yet so um i think i might throw it in a wash i cuffed one sleeve i wore it to the doctor yesterday which you'll see in upcoming did i vlog i think i did um you'll see in the you'll see in the next vlog i wore it to the doctor i get up in the morning and put it on over my pajamas <laughs> I don't know what it is about this $49.99 sweater, but even here, like, you know how when you get something and your arms rub and it starts to get bally, like, it's, it's, 
it still looks really really good and it's so soft so yes and then, so this is my new Christmas sweater um that I'll be wearing even after Christmas they have a ton of different colors so I'm thinking the smartest thing for me to do would be to invest in some more of these because I just really like the way that it fits it's not cropped it just comes to the waist um there are some of us that don't want everything cropped I don't need a crop coat do you know what I'm saying so anyway that was this is the number one purchase from the whole thing trip this right here and I wanted a new hat. So we stopped in Lululemon because they had the style of hat that I wanted. I saw it online. And since we were going in the store, I decided to wait and see if the um, the store at the mall had it. And they did. So I wanted a bucket hat. Um, and here it is. I wanted one that was fuzzy. Um, they had bucket hats at um, Uniglo too. Um, it was a wool one. And I don't know, I might go back and get one. But I did really just want to... Um, have this one mainly because it was Lululemon and y'all know that's my favorite store but because it had the little just this little detail on the back the little adjustable clip and I got it in a medium large and it is the textured fleece bucket hat and it retails for 58 bucks so yes I thought this was so cute and I can put it on over my ponytail and it so every hat that i have <laughs> has a fittedness to my head so right here in this drawer is where i keep all of my hats and scarves and things like that so like all of my hats are like this like a you know a skull cap very just fitted to your face and I wanted something that wasn't. I wanted something that was just a different, a little bit of a different style because I am a hat girl in the winter time and I needed, I didn't have anything like this. So I figured it would look cute with puffers and like a dress coat. So that's what I got from Lululemon. This was what I was actually looking for when we went there. I wanted a new bucket style hat. And like I said, um, Uniglo has those hats, so I might get one that's not so um, fluffy for if it's not super cold, because it's going to have to be cold for me to wear that. Um, or like when I get my hair done, I don't want a, like such a tight fitting hat, like a skull cap, because it, it presses out your curls. Now my hair is not done right now, I just have it in a ponytail, but it's Tuesday um and i could probably um if i wanted to um wear it down because it still has a little bit of curl in it or i could um pin it and have some curls but i just have been putting it in a ponytail um i don't know it's just been easy for me but the last thing that i did want to tell y'all was I, the last thing that i did get on my way out the mall was from I believe it's called L'Occitane. Um, I heard people call it L'Occitane, L'Occitane. I'm not exactly 100% sure because when the people say it, they say it kind of fast. And I have, I'm going to show you the crackerage of my thumb. My thumb is correct. Okay, just correct. And the, my fingertips are just so dry. And, but this one was actually hurting. So... I was like okay these lotions that I've been trying just are not working so I went into the store and I got the I asked the lady what she recommended for the cracking when your skin is peeling and cracking and she said she recommended the Shea Intensive Hand Balm um, that's what it says on here Shea Intensive Hand Balm so it comes in this box so it is intensive hand balm dry and sensitive skin so it comes in a box like this and this is the actual lotion so I a balmy main intensive um, and then that's French uh, every day warm and gentle dab 
I used it the night I got it I didn't use it um because I forgot I bought it it was sitting the bag was sitting on the counter um and then I remembered the next day and when I tried it on in the store it was nice um but when I got home and actually, like when I was laying in the bed, I had washed my hands after getting ready to go to bed. I was like, I'm going to put it on. And my husband was like, well, give me some. So we both rubbed it in our hands. Now, his hands aren't dry like mine. Um, I think because I am the domestic in the house, like I wash the dishes more. Um, I do the cooking. So I'm washing my hands constantly when I'm making lunch and breakfast and dinner. Now, he does clean the kitchen and things like that. But it generally is something that I do especially the cooking so I think having my hands in now they is doing some construction out here um they did put up signs that said we couldn't park well I don't park out there but that you couldn't park out front so I'm trying to figure out what they're doing because they dug it up repaved it I mean they've just been working on this street it's the smoothest street ever but they even put the parking lines and everything but it looks like they're doing something else and I'm so confused. But once again, they ain't asked me nothing. They ain't said, Jessica, do you want to help us with this street? Do we need your permission to upgrade it in some kind of way? So <laughs> I'm going to mind my business. I just hear the noise and see them out there with the tape measure and all the things. But anyway, so yeah, I went in there. They gave me, um, they gave me tons of samples. One sample was this. She gave it to me in a sample. So... I was like thank you but then she gave me the body wash oil the oil based body wash and she gave me the oil the body oil now the body oil is they're in a little packs it's not enough so for me so I tried to use it but it just wasn't lathering like I like I would like it so I'm gonna buy the actual bottle and give that a try but the body oil smells like i'm putting my hand up like y'all can smell it smells like this this hand cream and i really enjoy the smell of this um it doesn't take away um but it's not a bad addition if that makes sense like it's very nice subtle keep it pushing type of i guess keep it pushing is not very go with the flow type of um scent and it's thick but it's not obnoxiously thick um so i'm just gonna keep um it with me i think i am going to buy a bigger one for the side of my bed and i'm gonna try to keep this either in my car or in one of my bags y'all know like when you have like your favorite lip gloss or hand cream you have it in different spaces so i'm gonna give it a try i'm gonna wear it for another couple weeks and see what um and see what happens so that was that i'm gonna take it out of here and put it on my desk i need one for my desk too because i'm in my office so i need one for my office this is so ridiculous i do not need one for these places but i do want one but these are expensive this guy was 24 dollars um for uh 50 meals so yeah yeah it was 24 dollars for 50 meals so i'm looking at spending probably like 200 bucks on some lotion but i do want to try the body oil because from the little bit that i did use it smelled really good nice and it felt really nice on my hands so i feel like if i can get that body oil um sh a shower gel that'll put that first layer of moisture and help me hold on to moisture because my whole body is dry um no matter how much i lotion because i lotion up i use body oil i use cocoa butter i use um, you surrend, but it's just it's that time of the year and I just have dry skin. So that's it But I don't know this is this video helpful. Let me know in the comments. I just wanted to share these things Y'all know my favorite saying Run don't walk to get one of these if I didn't have to pick Sydney up from school. I probably would um, Venture to Georgetown and get me another one um, But yeah, run don't walk is that I keep trying to put this in this box this is trash, Jessica, so put it in the trash. Anyway, that is all I wanted to share with you guys. I wanted to talk about my coffee because I had a couple questions about which ones I liked, and I did want to show you the few things that I got, and I wanted to tell y'all about this sweater. It's incredible. So go ahead and um, 
if you like cardigans try this one they have a bunch of cool colors if they have the green get the green because it screams season and then i'm wearing my mary bright <laughs> sweatshirt that i got last year from like sam's club or somewhere for the holidays so i'm feeling festive all right guys it has been a pleasure filming this video don't forget to like comment share subscribe and if you buy one of these things let me know also let me know what your favorite coffee is if you drink an espresso okay y'all have an amazing day and we will see you later bye